Controlled Molecule Imaging Group, in short CMI, is located at the Center for Free Electron Laser Science on the DC campus in Hamburg. The Center for Free Electron Laser Science is a corporation of DC, the Max Planck Society and the University of Hamburg. In our group we aim to control molecules in the gas phase. Unlike this example molecule, OCS, which is now freely rotating in space, we aim to fix the molecule in space and also control its internal properties to do, for instance, imaging experiments or photoelectron tomography. The spatial control of molecules can be achieved with laser pulses. The laser pulse induces a dipole moment in our example molecule OCS, forcing the molecule to align along the alignment laser polarization. In our lab, we use a Tesla fire laser system which generates 1000 laser pulses per second. Each of the laser pulses is split in two, where one beam is used to align the molecules and the other is used to probe the alignment. The alignment laser pulses have to be stretched by the use of an optical grating to fulfill the conditions for adiabatic alignment. The alignment laser is then guided towards the interaction zone where it's crossed with the molecular beam and thus can align the molecules. As soon as the molecules are aligned, the other laser pulse is used to probe the alignment. The fragments of the molecules are mapped onto our detector which is gated to a certain fragment. In this case the sulfur. Alignment thus imprints itself by localized spots on the detector. Unaligned molecules show an isotropic distribution. The propulse has a pulse duration of 30 femtoseconds and if you think about it, a femtosecond is a really short time. Within 1.2 seconds light travels from the Earth to the Moon. But within a femtosecond light travels only 300 nanometers. In other words, it takes 300 femtoseconds for light to pass a human hair. Alignment and probe laser pulses are focused to the interaction zone. Similar to focusing sunlight to burn a piece of paper, we increase in that way the intensity of our laser pulses. The propulse reaches intensities of 10 to the 14 watt per square centimeter and is thus 10 million times 10 million times brighter than the sun on our Earth. Quantum state selection is achieved by a spatial separation of different quantum states. Before the molecules get aligned, they pass a strong inhomogeneous electric field generated by two electrodes. These two electrodes are called deflector. Typically field gradients of 150 kilovolts per centimeter are generated by those electrodes. The trajectories of the molecules through the deflector are quantum state dependent, leading to a dispersed molecular beam in the interaction zone. Placing the laser at different spatial positions leads to a measurement of different ensembles of quantum states. At DESI, scientists work in various fields, ranging from particle and astrophysics via accelerator physics to photon science. In photon science and also in particle physics, we want to study the small particles and molecules that make up our universe as for example proteins, atoms, or even going down to nuclei. In order to study these small things, we develop and use accelerators. Those are for example Petra 3, which is a synchrotron, and FLASH, which is a free electron laser. The Controlled Molecular Imaging Group consists of six postdocs and team leaders, 12 PhD students, three undergraduate students and three technicians from nine different countries. Besides science, we are all sharing an addiction to coffee and cake.